What's happening people, it's James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Whitton Town are away to our local neighbours, Habris Swifts in the Isthmian League North Division. I am buzzing for the local derby and I'm really buzzing already and I've got my full singing voice already to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff and especially for our Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball as always. I remember what I said it in the pre-match thoughts when I've interviewed the main fellow Whitton Town supporters on the match days before the match and I was about to say like we want to see our club, Whitton Town, do really well in the league and in the cup competitions as well. But especially in the league this season that we as Whitton Town fans want to see our club do really well in the league this year. Because I know in the past 11 years it's been like difficult times. But now, finally the great times is returning, which is brilliant. And... I want to see our club, Whitton Town, do really well in the league this season. And, and we're starting to believe we are fixing the consistency finally. But we're not going to get carried away because it's a long way to go in the league. And just like we said, we want to see our club, Whitton Town, do really well in the league this season. And, and in the future years to come, I would like to see Whitton Town do really well in the future. Because we love our club. Whitton Town, as Whitton Town supporters, we want to see our club be successful in the future. Because, like, it's a long way to go, but we've got some tough games coming soon. But we are super confident that Whitton Town will do really well in the league this season. Because over the last 11 years, it's been some difficult times, mostly in the league and the competitions. But the great times is finally showing. And we have been now and back. And we are so happy the great times has finally came. Especially we won the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup 2024. For the first time in 11 years since we last time won the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup. Which is in 2013. And, and we won it in 2024 as well. So the great times is finally showing which our club, Whitton Town, deserve the great times. Because like we said as Whitton Town supporters, we as Whitton Town fans want to see our club do really well and be successful. And I want to see Whitton Town do really well because we love our club. And I've been a Whitton Town supporter for 19 years since when Russell Tanner was manager of Whitton Town in the 2005-2006 season. But today's game, we're going to focus on the local derby, away to Hayden Swifts. And it won't be easy, but if we keep up the superb 100% record with a win, on the back of the 3-2 win against Felix Stone and Walter United a couple of days ago, it was the most amazing performance in the, in the second half. It was 3-0 up, but it was pegged back to 3-2, and it was squeaky bum time, but... We managed to hold on to the win, but we're just going to focus more on today's important game away to our local neighbours, Haber Swifts. And we want to go out there and get another win for Whitton Town. A Whitton Town win and Barry Town lose or draw, we could, we could potentially go top of the league. Whitton Town could potentially go top of the league if Whitton Town win and Barry Town lose or draw. We could potentially go top of the league. But the belief is there and I am 100% confident that Whitton Town will continue the winning streak and to keep up the 100% record. And now I'm about to bring my way to the Whitton Town away match to our local neighbours, Haber Swifts, very shortly. Up the town! I'm currently now just on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the journey for the Whitton Town away match to Haber Swifts. Unfortunately, there's no buses running from Whitton to Haber today, as it's a bank holiday Monday. So I'll be getting a lift 
for the Whitton Town away match to Haber Swifts today and I'm going to be travelling with the fellow Whitton Town supporter Peter which he kindly gave me a lift today which I'm really pleased to manage to get, get a lift because it's a shame there's no buses running on the bank holiday Monday but most importantly I'm looking forward to the short journey to our local neighbours Haber Swifts I'm feeling the buzz already, I'm really excited and I've got my singing voice all ready to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff and especially for our Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball as always. We as Whitton Town supporters are really excited for the season and just like I said, we as Whitton Town fans want to see our club Whitton Town do really well in the future because great times is finally returning which is really really good and we had a great 100% record at the start of the season and can we continue that record away at Haber Swifts the last time we, we, we played Haber Swifts away was in our 1-0 win which was last September and that was our first win away at Haber Swifts since 1988 I think and that was a superb win. But now it's got to focus on today's game away to Haber Swifts and especially I'm really looking forward to the short trip to Haber Swifts and um, and hopefully we'll keep up the superb record for Whitton Town. And there's going to be quite several Whitton Town supporters be there as well, fellow Whitton Town supporters and myself of course. And we're excited. We got our singing voices already. We are pumped up and ready for the Whitton Town away support. We're super excited and we got our voices ready, shown our Whitton Town support as always. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. Up the town. I'm currently now just arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club waiting for the fellow Whitton Town supporters and my good mate Peter to give me a lift for the Whitton Town away match to Haber Swifts and we're looking forward to the short trip. It is a shame there's no buses running from Whitton to Haybridge on the bank holiday Monday which is a shame but most importantly I'm looking forward to the short journey which Peter's going to give me a lift for the Whitton Town away match to Haber Swifts and and I'll be on my way for the Whitton Town away match to Haber Swifts very shortly up the town I'm currently now just leaving the Whitton Town Football Club now to make our way for a short trip to our local neighbours Haber Swifts in the Isthmian League North Division and I just want to say a big thank you to the fellow Whitton Town supporter, Peter. I couldn't thank you enough for the lift. And because um, there's no buses running from Whitton to Haybridge today, because like I said earlier, it's, it's a bank holiday Monday. So, which is a shame, but most importantly, I'll be sitting, sitting back and relax and enjoy the short trip to Haber Swifts. And we as Whitton Town supporters are filling the buzz already this afternoon and this is going to be a big big game away at Haber Swifts and after that 3-2 win against Felix Stone Walter United a couple of days ago but we are confident we're feeling the buzz and we as Whitton Town supporters like I said we want to see our club Whitton Town do really well in the league and especially in the FA Cup and the FA Trophy competitions and we want to see our club do really well because like I said in the past 11 years it's been like some difficult times like like especially in, in around about April 2019 during the eight during the 2018 2020 19 season when um because I remember when Mark Ashford used to be the Whitton Town manager in the 2018 and 2019 season and it was a really difficult season that season and we went on survival day away to Basden United and won 2-0 because it was a, it was very close down the bottom three and um, 
it was a great memory on survival day when we won two nil and we stayed up that that day in april 2019 the two nil win away at basildon united and that kept whitman town up that season because that was a really really difficult season and um in my opinion the best ever whitman town manager of all time in my 19 years as a Whitton Town supporter has to be Gary Kimball because he has brought some great times to the club in his first full term and now he's done it again in his second full term and that is why I always have my full support for our Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball because he has done remarkable for Whitton Town since he came back last season and because um, I've remembered like we when we heard the news when Gary Kimball came back as Whitton Town manager last summer in his second full term, I was absolutely ecstatic with the news when Gary Kimball came back as Whitton Town manager. And not just me, it's for all Whitton Town supporters. We were all excited with Gary Kimball back as Whitton Town manager in his second full term. And because the reason why I was ecstatic because I have my full support for Gary because he has done remarkable and he got us two promotions in his first full term, especially into the Ryman Premier division for the first time ever in the club's history. And um, that is why I have my full support for Gary and I, and I will keep supporting our manager, Gary Kimball, this season because he loves the club dearly in his heart because because he is Whitton Town in his heart and that is why I'm delighted to have him back as Whitton Town manager and um, got us 14th in the league last season in mid-table and now we are focusing on this season onto bigger things like hopefully getting to like round about the playoff places but, but we are confident we get to the playoff places or maybe even higher if we fix the consistency in the Whitton Town team, which we are slowly fixing the consistency. Like we have done superb at the start of this season, and we won, and we won the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup a month ago. The Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup 2024, and Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup champions 24, and we as Whitton Town supporters were were so happy that the great times are are finally back at Whitton Town. And um, now we're going to focus on today's big local derby away to Haber Swifts. And I reckon it's going to be a very, very close game, I reckon. And like I said, we were all excited as Whitton Town supporters for today's local derby. Because local derby matches, football fans want to see their team win in local derbies. Like, like us Whitton Town supporters want to see our club, Whitton Town, win in the local derby, which is, which will be absolutely brilliant. And we'll see how today's game bring. And we are super confident for this afternoon to keep up the superb 100% record and the consistency is there. And just like Alfie Kimball said, the consistency is there. And it, when we finally fix the consistency, actually if we fix the consistency, we will be right up there and we're gonna smash this league. And um, Berry Town are right up there, which we won't worry about them. We'll just worry about ourselves, focus on ourselves in today's game and this season. Today's a big game. We're super excited. And can Whitton Town keep up the fantastic 100% record with another win at Haby Swifts? Up the town. I'm now arrived at Haber Swifts FC to get ready for the Whitton Town away match in the Yasmin League North Division. And I'm just waiting for my mates of the main fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. Up the town. Hi Kevin, are you looking forward to the game today? Yeah, local derby. So yes, yeah, one uh, we always look forward to and uh, hopefully we can carry on this uh, good performance in the week and get another three points. The lads have been superb at the start of the league season, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, they've worked really hard all pre-season and I, I expected that we'd probably get off to a good start because they've done ever so well. So we've just got to keep this momentum and to keep it one game at a time and see where it takes us. But no, we're in 
good, good mood at the minute. So, yeah, I'm hoping that we can get it down today, play some good football, and most importantly, get three points. Thank you so much for your time, Kevin. Enjoy the game. Cheers, mate. I'm now with the Whitsome Town kit people and the main fellow Whitsome Town supporters, Laura and Rick. Hi, James. Hi, James. Good, thank you. It's a big game away at Haby Swifts, and if we keep up the superb 100% record, and we want to see Whitsome Town do well in the league this season, and um, if we keep up the superb record, I believe we can be in for a shout with another win today. Why not? Like a derby. If you play like we did first, uh, well, this Saturday in the second half, and that's the only reason why not. Mm. You know, we've had been stuck with us before the second half. First half was a bit getting back to right rhythm. Second half, you know, we should have a fight. Against local like derby, it's going to be a tough game, isn't it? Local derby is a really tough game because like football fans want to see our team win the local derbies but we want to see our club Whitton Town win in a local derby. The last time we won here was last season we won 1-0 one, one and um, it will be tough but I believe we can do it again hopefully. Yeah, as I say, why not? We played the uh, second half on Saturday, we were outstanding weren't we? Mm. Um, and you think they're, they're tipped to be uh, to win the league or promoted or whatever? Mm. Um, we we were, we were outstanding, and we we were very unlucky that the substitutes. I think it unsettled us a little bit, but mm. it has to be done because you know we we came two days later. But I do think the substitutions unsettled the uh, the rock the boat a little bit, and that's how we ended up with um, yeah it, with them scoring two goals. Obviously, one was a penalty. How Harry nearly got his hands on it, but. Mm. You know what? That's, that's, that's the one thing we just got to work on. Just got to work on our penalties. You know, stop. Let's not stop giving penalties. How many we done already this season? So. Um, I think it's three at the moment. But I've just uh, been told that I think Hayward have missed four penalties already this season. Mm. So, you know, there is always uh, that favour for us. But it's going to be a good game. It's going to be. I think it's going to be. Up. Well, I say it's going to be close. My mm. score prediction is a close, but. I think it's going to be a good game. Looking forward to it. Sun's shining. We're going to get wet today. So. I think that substitution on the, in the second half on Saturday probably resting the main players for the big game for today. Today, yeah. Why not? We've got a massive game coming on Saturday. Exactly. We can't walk that thinking, oh, Sherry and Omar, we're going to walk that in the park. We can't do that. We've got to come out like any other side, like we did against um, Greats or like we did against. Um, Felix Dale on Saturday, we've got to come out and play to the best of our ability um, and go for a win, not let's just come out and kick the ball about. Because we can't, ain't going to be walking the park on Saturday. And um, we want to win, we want to get to the next round, don't we? I agree 100% because we want to go far as possible in the FA Cup and the FA Trophy because like, like we said, it will bring good revenue to the club to go far as possible in the competition, the FA Cup and the FA Trophy. Yeah, too right. We've got, we got plenty of confidence. No. Mm. We have, we, we're, full, we're full of confidence. And you, so, and, but, no. you, but not just that, you see the attitude of the lads. Yeah, exactly. mm. When they score a goal, they're over to our Nigel, weren't they? They're giving it all yeah, exactly. this. <laughs> I, I loved it, loved it as well. They're loving it. They're loving it. So, and you can see that they're all wanting to play together. They're all, Spot in, on. They're all enjoying playing together. And like, one thing I, you know, we've obviously had two games since then, but last Sunday when we played, you, um, I think it was Josh. Josh scored that goal. He, he was ran, brilliant. He ran straight over to Kevin. Gave Kevin a hug. Kevin's birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin. Do you know what I mean? And the one they, he went round. Know. And the one he went round the goalkeeper yeah. when he yeah. scored the second goal. That they, was brilliant they, from Josh. Do you know what I mean? The, the players love playing for this club. They 100%. Really do. And they love playing, putting on a show. They loved us. our fans as well, and yeah. it's, it's absolutely yeah. brilliant. So. Why not today? Why, why, why can't we not be? Let's not, let's not take, let's not get into ourselves that I was giving this because they've got a completely different side from us. Mm. They're a young side. They've got a good manager as well, haven't yeah. they? Exactly. Mm. They're, so. they're a young side and they're, you know, they're not, I'm not going to be old, but they're not that good at the moment, are they? Because they're struggling to get points and whatever. I mean, it's just one as they drew near Will, didn't they? And they lost on Tuesday, but they're going to have to be better this, didn't they? Let's make it five in five, let's, let's, yeah? yeah exactly. Five in five, let's, let's definitely. Let's make it five in five. Let's finish your break on the weekend off with another, another guy. Another I don't, guy don't, 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 don't send me back to work tomorrow crying because I'm only <laughs> Yeah, we, we want to win again today because it'll be really good for the club. But if we if we win today, we could potentially go top of the league. If, if Barry Town drop points, we should be worried about them. It'll be a tough one against Phoenix. Oh, that'll be a cracker for that one. 
Let's we get, could. Let's get behind the front. Let's get behind them today. Let's get some singing going, James. Definitely one hundred percent. Because they always appreciate the support they to do. get them going, yeah. and because they love it, and and like Gary said previously, it gives an extra thirty percent for the yeah, players no. with, with our support. Boost. Gives them a boost, doesn't it? So I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Laura? I'm going for a 3-0 Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I got it right on Saturday, didn't I? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. 3-2, you, got the, you yeah, got the right I one as well. 3-2. I, I got it right on Saturday, Mr. Chairman. You noted that, didn't you? <laughs> so I'm going for a 3-0 win today. And what's your score prediction, Rick? I'm going 2-0. Brilliant. I am going to be really positive as always because we have got a really good team this year and we play some good football and um, but the thing we've got to work on is not to give away so many penalties but not so many this year but last year we gave away so much I think it was 16, penalties wasn't it? it was 16 last yeah. season but yeah. Only, a th only about three this season, but... It's going to be different games today on the pitch, on the pitch. 3G pitch as well, wasn't it? It's going to be 3G pitch different. as well, and it's, it's going to be a good running on the pitch, I reckon. Yeah. And um, I am going to be positive I'm going 2 near Whitton Town. Get in, James. Why not? Thank you. Thank you so much. Why shouldn't we go for it? You know, we've got nothing to lose. We Absolutely. Don't, we don't care what the score is. As long exactly. As, we, as, long as we win. Just like you said, Rick, no matter what the score is, as long as we win, yeah. we win today. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for your time, guys. And can we get another win? And come on the town. Come on the come town. Come on the town. I'm now with the another fellow Whitton Town supporter, Dan. Hi, James. How are we doing? Good, thank you. This is a huge game away at Haber Swifts, and but we keep if we keep up the superb record at the 100% record, like we did against Phoenix Stone and Brighton Sea Regent, and if the consistency's there. I believe we can be on the roll to get another win, hopefully. I think we will. Two games out of two at the minute. We played Felix Day last week. We grabbed a great win there, 3-2. Mm. I think today we've got a massive chance to get it. Like I said, if we win today, depending on what Berry do, we can go top of the table. Uh, I think Josh is absolutely in form at the minute. He just four goals in three games. Absolutely unbelievable. Josh is on fire up front. He was absolutely superb. He looked like a different player. And, and I love the one that he went round the keeper and he scored against... Phoenix though a couple of days ago, he was brilliant. Our pace at the minute up front is frightening, especially with Josh, he is so quick and knows where the back of the net. I think yeah, we're doing very, very well at the minute. Looking really good for the season. As long as we can keep hold of the players, mm. I think we've got a very, very good chance for you. I agree 100 percent Like if we have the consistency finally and and if we win today, we could potentially go top of the league if Berry Town lose their game or draw, I think. But we just got to focus on ourselves and, yeah, and, and get the job done by worry, getting the win, hopefully. Yeah, worry about what we're doing. Uh, Berry have got Felix though today, and we could come away from beating them 3 2. That's going to be a tough game for them. But we need to worry about our game to the game. Cambridge is going to be a tough game, but I think we've got it in us to beat them. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Dan? I think it'll be 3 1 with him today. It's going to be a tough game, but I am feeling confident that if we keep up the 100% record and if we keep to the same rhythm in the team, I'm going to go 2 0 with him town. I like it. Thank you very much, James. Thank you so much for your time, Dan. And let's hope we get another win today and come on the town. Come on the town. Come on the town. Come on the town. I'm now with the another main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Callum. Hello James, how are we doing? Good, thank you. It's a big game away at Hay for Swifts and I know we had a brilliant 100% record in the league and got a good win against Felix Stone Waltz United a couple of days ago and uh, the lads have been superb in, in the last couple of games, especially in the FA Cup as well. And it'll be a different story against Hay for Swifts but if we keep up the superb 100% record, I believe we can beat Haver Swiss today. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm confident going into the game. Obviously, we had a great result of the weekend, beating Felix 0 3 2. Haybridge drew, drew hoops, it's wonderful, so they didn't have the best result. But Haybridge are the home team, they, they, you know, there's pressure on them to come out and put a good performance. So we just need to go out and, you know, show them why, why we've got two wins and why we beat Felix. We played really well against them. If we can continue that today, I'm sure we'll have another three points in the bag. Definitely 100% because like we said the other day that we want to see our club, Wheaton Town, do really well in the league and um, especially in the FA Cup as well because like 
we want to see our club Wheaton Town do really well this year and because we're, we're now second in the league but if we win against Hayes Swifts and Barry Town lose their game we could potentially go top of the league. Yeah, I think it's looking good. Obviously, it's very early on in the, in the season, but you know we need to pick up as many points as we possibly can. Mm. Have a good start to the season, you know. I don't know how the how they look here, but you know we go. I don't know. You could say eight games in, try and get this many points, then the next day, the next day. Look at it in stages, in small steps. Don't think about how many points you want overall. Look at it in stages. Look at the games we've got. Mm. Tough game today. Show him win the cup. We've got a lot of games coming up, you know, we've got Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, mm. Saturday, Tuesday. It's going to be tough, but we know, we know it's going to, we know it's going to be a hard, hard game today, but yeah, I'm confident like I was Saturday, so hopefully another three points, and yeah, especially beating our local rivals, Abridge. Yeah, definitely 100%. It won't be easy, but but we are confident we're going to do it again like we did last year. We won 1-0 one, one away at Haber Swifts last year, but it'll be tougher against Haber Swifts. But, but if we play like we did against Felix Stowe, but I know we was 3-0 up against Felix Stowe, and then they pegged, the, pegged back to 3-2, and then it was squeaky bum time in the 90th minute. Heart and attack. Then, <laughs> and then we just managed... So don't worry. They managed to hold on the three two wins the final whistle but um but today's game will be a different story yeah well, you know obviously three up we were cruising we let them back in but it, we saw the game out we won the game that's all that matters so i think yeah today obviously we know what hey would you like they're a good side they've got good stadium good crowd so yeah well, we want to come out and put on a show you know we should, a lot of fans have traveled today local games so yeah i'm looking forward to it hopefully get three points and then we can that will build us into the game on, on Saturday against Sheringham because obviously that's again a tough game but you know we mm. want to win that get in the second qualifying round so things are looking looking positive at the moment James and now we're coming to the score predictions what's your score prediction Callum? 2-1 uh, Whitham I'm going to be really optimistic as always because we had a great 100% record at the start of this new league season and two wins on the spin I'm going to go 2-0 with some town prediction Oh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we've got a good game and yeah, come on the town! Come on the town! I'm now with the another main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Sam. Right, Sam how you doing, good, thank you. It's a big game away at Haber Swifts and we had a superb 100% record in the league and we're second in the league. And if we win against Haybridge, Swifts and Barry Town lose their game, we could potentially go top of the league. Yeah, so it's going to be a big game for us. We made a good start. They've made an okay start, two draws. Uh, yeah, it's always a tough game coming here. Uh, it's not going to be easy. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think what we've seen this season, we can, uh, we can come in and grab for it. But yeah, as I say, it's easy. Yeah, if we keep up a superb 100% record, because Josh did superb up front, and I, and I love his second goal when he went round the goalkeeper and scored a superb goal, and then it was 3-0 up in the first half, and then we pegged back to 3-2, and it was squeaky bum time, but we managed to hold on to the win. Yeah, yeah, we've, uh, we've been good this season, we've played well, uh, mm. and most importantly, getting the points, it's, uh, it's important and we've got some good players especially up top Josh, Callum, mm. uh, DC who are all starting today so uh, yeah we've definitely got the quality to help them but uh, I've no doubt they've got the same uh, to do to us so it will be difficult but it should be good uh, hopefully it'll be an entertaining game. And now we're coming to the score predictions what's your score prediction Sam? Uh, we beat them 1-0 here last season uh, so I'm going to say again 1-0 to us hopefully clean sheet uh, good performance to the Excellent. Um, it's going to be not going to be quite easy, but we were confident for today's game. We're buzzing for the game, and I'm going 2 0 Whitton Town. Hopefully, hopefully. Thank you so much for your time, Sam. And can we get another win and up the town? Up the, up town. the town. Come on. Come on.
be shooting first. Well played. Well played, Iggy. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Unlucky, 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 Well covered. And again, go again then. Go on, Callum. Go, Callum. Damn in the corner. In the corner. Corner. Great, mate. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Beverly. Lyo. Go on, Iggy. Go on, Iggy. I'm okay. We've only managed one, and if we get a penalty, we'll miss it. <laughs> <laughs> must be, must be Julian's big rightly. <laughs> Two games now, we've missed him, we've been winning the penalty. Who's had the top one? 1-0 to Haber Swifts. <laughs> 1-0 to Haber Swifts. <laughs> Come on, Sam! Get in there! And again! Pebble! Yes! Pebble to get to Wayne Town! Yes! Pebble to get to Wayne Town! Get in! Pebble to get to Wayne Town! Come on, Josh. Oh, 
Oh, we're lucky! It's much better! Go on, son! Go on! 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 And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Take him on, take him on. Oh, he got it, and again, unlucky, unlucky. And again, and again. Well played. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Oh. Two one to Haby Swifts. Two one to Haby Swifts. Go, on, Josh. Oh, lucky. And again, and again, and again. Yeah, use Ollie, look first. Use Ollie! Oh, I'm lucky. Good ball. Go on, Ollie, run it, son. Take him on, Ollie. Take him on. Run it! And again, go on, he doesn't know what he's doing, look. Oh, oh. Short ball again. Go on. Oh! Really? Oh, I'm lucky. I'm luck, boys, I'm luck. Josh, head up. Clear. Ah. Go kick. Good goal kick. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Go on, Primanda. Primanda. Hey. Go on, Josh. Oh, Goal kick, I think. It is goal kick. Finish! Where? Half time. The half time score Haber Swifts 2, Whitton Town 1. And here we got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Callum and Sam. Hey, mate. Yeah. Guys, it was a bit equally in the first half, but since we got the equaliser, we're back in there. And I thought we was going to hold on to that draw, but then all of a sudden, and they just sort of sneaked at their second goal. But <laughs> what went wrong? Yeah, I don't think anything went wrong. I thought we'd be playing, we'd be playing well. We were just, it's been an interim game. I think both teams have been at it. I think they've probably slightly edged it, but you know, only 2 1. If we come out the second half fighting, I think we can still come away with. At least a point, if not three. Yeah, because it's like sort of a very equally matched, but like Josh did superb as always up front, and it's causing their defence a lot of havoc, but scored a really good penalty with the equaliser, but but things are really good, but hopefully things get better and, and more improved in the second half, hopefully. Yeah, I think it's been quite even. They probably have edged it a little bit. They scored two quite similar goals. Yeah. Um, that low shot into the bottom corner. Um, I think we definitely are causing a few problems. Um, I, I don't think we have as much control in the midfield zone. That's what I think we need to get a bit more than one. But um, still, 
Thank you guys so much for your time and, and we go again second half. Come on the town. I'm now with the another main fellow Whitsby Town supporter, Laura. Hi James. First half it was a bit equally, but we was like since we got the equaliser, we're back in it when Josh did super with the penalty and just don't know how it went in the first half. Yeah, we didn't, we, we didn't, we don't look settled today. Something's missing today. I don't know what it is. Something doesn't look right out there with them today. Where is the pit? I don't know. You can't give them excuses, can you? Um, you know that was quite, quite clearly their goal was, was not a goal. It was quite clearly handball. <clears throat> All right, so he gave us a penalty, but then we let him back in again. So I don't know. It, they've got to dramatically change the second half, haven't they? I agree. Because I think Gary would say to the lads in the changing room like what needs to change in the second half or what make things to do better and like we'll see what happens in the second half. Yeah, whether he's going to make changes I don't know but something something's definitely not right today. We took a little bit off, off key today, don't we? But, you know, hopefully we can turn it around. Let's hope so. We need to come back. Next goal is obviously going to be vital, isn't it? If we can, if we can make it 2 all, then obviously we could... Uh, but. Yeah, anything can happen now, can't it? So. Yeah, the next goal is going to be vital, but hopefully we get another like equaliser and sort of like we got to like play better in the second half. But we did play some good football. We had some good spells for a little bit in the first half. We need to go down the sides again, down the sides. So we seem to be a few of the times we've been hoofing the ball. Mm. Like, what's that about again? We haven't hoofed the ball for a long, long while, and we're hoofing it like we're in a hurry. Just, just, just keep your foot on the ball and just. Mm. Just, you know, we've got to get back into it. We, you know, we don't want to lose here, do we? No, definitely not, no, because like any football teams with fans don't want to lose the local derby, but we want to win the local derby like we did last season. We can get a draw out of this today, then we'll be happy with a draw. A we? draw will be a perfect result, yeah, so. and we'll see how it pans out in the second half, yeah. and things got to do better. Yeah, we've got to improve massively, haven't we? Um, from what I could hear from the dressing room, that Gary and, well, you could hear Gary and Kev on the touchline, couldn't you? They weren't happy with the players, which I get. You know, something, as I say, something's a skew with out there today. But you know what? We, I'm sure we can turn it around. I'm sure we can. And, this, you know, if we can get a point out today, we'll be happy, won't we? We've got a massive game on Saturday ahead of us, haven't we? I think if you, you ask me, out, like, the club now, what do you want? You know, to get a draw today and win on Saturday, we'll take that any day, won't we? So, but we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for your time, Laura, and hopefully get better in the second half and come on the town. Come on the town. Come on the town. Come on. Can this half time Can this half time team talk change like like we did at Molder last season? Can we do it again? Can we do it again? Come on town! Come on town! I was gonna say you can't hear, right? We'll play DC. We'll play DC, head up. Head up, DC, head up. Come on! Oh! Ah. Come on, we turn! Come on, we turn! Come on, we turn! Come on, we turn! Go on, Archie. Don't foul. Is it? Foul into Haybridge. Go on, Josh. Come on, Sam. Come on, with him. Don't foul, Callum. Oh, my God. Go on, Archie, mate. Go on. Release early. Release early. You're too slow, Callum. Now moving. Go on! Go on, Callum! Go on, Ah! Go on! 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 Go on!
Come on! Come on! Must be! Yes! 2-2! Two, two. Josh Usune! Come on! Get in! Yes, Laura! Yes! Yes, Rick! Yes, Rick! Woo! Oh, lucky! I think 10 minutes lost off that. That's a push, That's a push, ref. Well, I'm ref. Go on, Archie. Take him on. Go on. He's done him. Ah. Come on. Come on. Oh. Never. Oh, is he giving it? What's he given? Free kick. Right on the edge of the area. The ref's just booked our player. Well done! Oh. Good save, James! Blot off the line! Blocked it off the line! Hey! Go on, Josh! Go on, Josh! Hey! Let's go! Go on, Anton, let me go! And again, Sam! Don't touch me for Don't foul! Watch it, watch it. Well done, Rowan. Well done, Rowan. Good. Go on, Callum, take him on. Go on. Hey, ref! Keep Well played. Well played, well done. Well done, Callum. Well done, Ron. Well done, Ross. Well done, Ron. Well done, well done, well done, Ryan. Well done, Joe. Well done. Well done, Kevin. Well done, Iggy. Well done, James. Well done, mate. Well done, Ollie. Well done, mate.
Oh my god. What on Kay? What on Mike? What on Angel? What on? What on Josh head up? What on Josh head up? Okay. Okay. Josh, head up. Okay. Come on. Josh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The full time score Haber Swift 2, Whitton Town 2, and here we got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Callum and Laura. Hello, mate. How are we? All right, James. Guys, um, it was a bit equally in the second half. Like, we got, obviously, we got the equaliser, and then we went 2 1 down, and then Josh scored the equaliser. That was a brilliant equaliser for 2 2, and draws a good point. Go on, what do you think, Laura? You know what? Let, let, come on. We're, we're... Come on, we're done. We're unbeaten still, yeah. Mm. Come on, we're, we're acting like it's a defeat. It isn't. It's one point. We have taken that when we went one nil down. Mm. We? Come on. So let's just take the positives out. Mm. You know, we played on Saturday. You know, we've got a massive game this Saturday coming. Let's just take the positives of what we can get. Mm. We've got a point. Just got. Some, you know, let's just carry on. Let, let's just. You know, that they look like that. You know, it was a defeat. It wasn't. We, yeah, we, look definitely not. Deflate, right. deflated. But come on, let's just build our confidence up. Exactly, you know, spot on. Because it's a point. We, yeah. we will but take that. A in fantastic there. point. Yeah. 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 But in my view, I can see why the players are deflated. Yeah. You know, yeah. we played well for most of the game, and hey, was yeah, you know they're not a great side. You know, they didn't... how did we miss that sitting yeah. there? I mean, I couldn't believe it just came Hit off the, the post. post and then, I mean, it. how did he miss that? But, yeah, but I can. I can understand why they did play because you know I feel Haybridge didn't play that well. I we think. made them look good. We did exactly. We really yeah. Which I can see why good. they deflated because yeah. we probably should have won that game again and made it another victory. But yeah, that chance for Eddie, it was unlucky. But I suppose it's a point. Mo most of us would have taken it. We've got to be positive on it. We've got to be but positive. I can see spot on. I can see why they are deflated. We didn't spot lose. On. We didn't lose. That's all that matters. Exactly. Spot on because we need to like, recoup, rebuild again. Keep Saturday. going. Keep going for Saturday, build it all up again for Saturday. Go on and let's just beat Sharon over, yeah? Exactly, it's just that during the full time whistle, and then the players look deflated. But you got, like you said, Lloyd, you've got to be positive. Yeah, we've got, right. we got yeah. a great yeah. point, we've got a fantastic point, and then yeah. we, we bring well, on to the next, next, next match. Well, we, you know, and I can understand why they're, you know, they, they are a bit, their heads are a bit down because we should have won the game, I feel. If we, we played all right. If we, if we played a little bit better, we could yeah, have won this game. We could have won the game, and they could have won the game as well. Mm. And we're lucky they didn't score in that last few like minutes. Yeah, so but... we've just got to be positive. Take mm. the two all draw. Don't the club will take that any old game spot. over yeah. them. So come on, we've got to build on that. Get ready for Saturday. Give them chance. Recoup again and go again for Saturday. And let's just let's get on to the next round of the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a, be a massive game on Saturday. I know showing them relief below, but we can't. We've got to take them seriously. You know, can't buy teams off. They'll be here. You know, they're playing us. It'll be their their big day for them. So obviously they'll want to get through just as much as we would. Hundred percent. But you know, that's you know, I think next week will be a tough game. But I think we've got enough there to come for it yeah, quite comfortably. We've got enough there. But no, I think I don't know, a point today. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take a point, and then we've got some uh, massive games coming up. You know, showing them, then Brighton C, then Brentwood. So big games coming up. So exactly. we've got a lot of games coming up. We've got oh, so many it. games. We're going Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So come on, let's just build up. Let's be proud of their boys today. They, 100%. they fought back to get us two old. Come on, let's just be proud of yeah, them. Yeah, I, I think yeah, a point is good result. I, I understand why their their heads are down a bit, but yeah, we we go on to the next. Next game because they're yeah, massive games coming up for us. But they should never have a, have our heads drop because no. we lose. It's a fantastic Josh, point. Josh at the end there was going like that to us. Come on, come Josh on. is brilliant. He was trying to get us to be, you know. Yeah, fair, he got the two and goals that's what, as well. Right. That is what I love about Josh Usuda. He's getting the fans going, yeah. and that's what I love about Josh. And Josh is brilliant. And what I, on, on and off the pitch, yeah, I, love, I like him a lot because he gives hundred percent every week. You know, he's outstanding. Because you know. Before the, the last couple of games, he's been playing really well, just not getting the goal. So he's been putting in the effort has been there for him. He's just been unlucky. But he scored a couple last, no, a couple against uh, Grays, and he got a couple today. So it's good, to, good to see him getting the goals. Man. His goal scoring form is absolutely superb from Joshua Sude. He's scored every game at the moment. I'm glad he has because he's showing he, he's working his socks off. 
he's, he's, you know, yeah, he's doing it, fantastically well for us. He gave everything for the team, and um, he, we were trying to get the win, but it wasn't to be. But like we said, it's a fantastic point. Stay positive, like you said. Yeah. Keep the positivity move going. On, move, move on to the next game. Move on to Saturday. This game's gone now. Move yep. on to Saturday. Let's, That's all let's, we can do. No, let's forget about let's this. Support yeah, the boys. We've, got week, we've got a week to prepare for Saturday, so yeah. Uh, yeah, well, hopefully, yeah. And I would hopefully get a win next week, but yeah. Tough game, but yeah. 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 But a good point overall, yeah. We should be happy that we got a draw. You know, Haybridge, you know, it's a tough place coming here. You know, we, we don't tend to win away here a lot. I think, you know, we've won here last season, but before that, we hadn't won in in a long time. So yeah, tough game, but we've got quite in the end, as we said. Ooh. Move on to the next game and yeah. Yeah, it is a tough place to come to Haybridge. It is a, is a tough place to come and I, like, but we played against these lot. We had we had a good point and uh, we was unlucky not to win. Just yeah. Stay but positive. Another thing is, it's be a draw. positive. We don't know really where both teams are going to be because it's still early on in the season, you know. We don't know, we need to give it I'd say six, seven or eight games to see which team's going to be up there, which team's going to be down there. It's so a long way to go. So you it's don't a long know way yet. To go. Long way know, we're going to go like that. We're going to have, but where we, you know, we've been frustrated and that. But we've just got to get behind the team. That's all <clears> we can do. Yeah. And support them boys. That's all we can do. One thousand percent. We always go home in the way and support yeah. the lads and get the players going. Like yeah, they, win, lose or draw, we there. always be there and yeah. keep keep supporting the lads. That's they what feed we do. Off us, week in, week out. You can see Josh. Trying to get us, you know, getting us to, to do, you know, getting us to cheer and that. But no, decent point and yeah, thanks, you know, thanks again. Cheers, James. Cheers, That's James. Right. Thank you so much for your time and we go again Saturday. Yep. Come on the town! Come on, the town. Come on! So here you go. I just got back from the short trip for the Witten Town away match of Haber Swifts in the 2-2 draw and... Just like Laura said in the full-time thoughts, come on, you've got to stay positive. Because during the full-time whistle, like the players looked absolutely dejected and they looked deflated. But come on, you've got to keep your heads up, you've got to be positive and because the draw is a fantastic point. And just like Laura said, they look like they're acting like a draw's like a defeat, which it's not like a defeat. It's a fantastic point. It is a tough place to come at Haybridge, and um, like um, it is a good point. I'm really pleased for the lads because the lads have done superb, but they get absolutely everything throughout the whole ninety. And Josh was outstanding as always. He's he is superb up front and scoring some good goals and. That was a fantastic penalty from Joshua Sude in the first half. After we went 1-0 down, Josh scored the equaliser. And then we pegged back to like 2-1 to them. And then in the second half, Josh scored a superb equaliser. He, was, he takes defenders on, scoring a great goal. And... Um, <laughs> And we were so close to score a last-minute winner. like Not like last-minute winner, sorry. Ran about the 85th, 85th minute. We were so close to score the 3-2 three, three, win. And um, we were so close to score the 3-2 win. But it wasn't to be. But for our Whitton Town supporters, we gave absolutely everything. Especially in the second half. And... Um, but we were so close to get the 3-2 win, but it wasn't to be. But I'm proud for the boys. And just like Laura said, which I agree 1,000%, just got to be positive. Keep your head up. It's a long way to go. And we've got some good games coming soon. And, and then we've got the FA Cup to really look forward to, and especially the FA Trophy to look forward to. And now... We've got to keep our heads out, held high. And and then we go again at the next game. Hope you all enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is at home to Sheringham on Saturday the 31st of August. 
up the town.